Number 80. Butane exists as two isomers, N-butane and isobutane. And then we have this reaction right here. And they give us a Kp, right? The Kp is 2.5 at 25 degrees Celsius. And then they say, what is the pressure of isobutane in a container of the two isomers at equilibrium with the total pressure of 1.22 atm? Okie dokie. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to look over here just to see that this is a balanced equation, right? It seems like I have one component here, which is n-butane, and it's coming to equilibrium. There's the double arrow with this compound, which is isobutane. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is accounted for. I have one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four. One carbons, two carbons, three carbons, four. And then let's see how many total hydrogens. I have three hydrogens here, two plus two plus three. So there's a total of uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens. So this would technically be C4H10. And then if we do the same thing here, I have three hydrogens, one, three, and three. So three, three, and three, that's nine, plus one in the middle is 10. So we have the same uh, compound here, it's balanced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rewrite this and I'm just gonna say that we have n-butane, it's just easier. Or actually, um, let's see, hmm. I, I guess we'll keep it with the n-butane because they specifically want isobutane. So I'll say n-butane is coming to equilibrium with isobutane. All right, so specifically they wanted to know the pressure of isobutane at equilibrium, right? And they said that at equilibrium, the total pressure was 1.22 atm. Now remember, a total pressure is the pressure of the whole thing, right? The whole vessel, reaction vessel. So the total pressure, so maybe I'll say pressure total, has to equal the pressures of the individual comparts, or components, right? So the total pressure should equal the pressure of the n-butane plus the pressure of the isobutane. Now I'm just going to say here that the, the total pressure they told me was 1.22 atm, right? So I'm going to just erase the pressure total, and I'm just going to say that that is 1.22. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now, there's still equilibrium, right? So these are equilibrium values. They said that it's at equilibrium, so I don't have to write an ice table, right? So I know that whatever they're giving me is at equilibrium, but now I just have to figure out uh, expression to say what n-butane is and what isobutane is according to what they told me. Well, let's see. They're asking for the pressure of isobutane. So to make it easy on myself, I want to solve or let x be isobutane because that's literally what the question's asking for. So I'm going to say that this is x. I don't know what the pressure is, but I know that it's going to be x, right? So I know that this guy is going to be X. Now I have to figure out what the N-butane is going to be. And remember, with algebra, right, if we can't have two different variables here, this isn't multivariable calculus, I need to express this in terms of X. But go with this formula, guys, right? If we said that 1.22, the total, equals the pressure of the N-butane, and now we know that this is just plus x, we could figure out what the pressure of n-butane would be in terms of x, right? All we gotta do is just minus x, and it kinda makes sense, right? The total minus the isobutane would be the n-butane. So there you go. So the n-butane would just be 1.22 minus x. So that's what I'm gonna write over here, 1.22 minus x. Now, we're at equilibrium. They gave us a Kp, so let's bring up that Kp expression. It's this one, right? Pressure of the products divided by the reactants raised to the coefficients, and only aqueous and gases are allowed. In order for this to work, 
They didn't specifically say what states these were in, but let's assume that they're both gases. So we're going to keep them in our uh, equation here for the Kp. So let's write out our formula. So Kp equals pressure of the products. The product is the isobutane. So P isobutane. And remember, this would be raised to the coefficient, but there was nothing in front of here. That just means that I have one of them, right? So I just raise this to the first, but I don't really have to. And then this would be divided by the pressure of the N butane. That's the reactant. And once again, there was no number in front. That means that there was one. So you could raise it to the first, but you don't have to. And now we have all the numbers. They told me that the Kp was 2.5. Right, the isobutane, which is this one, we said that that was going to be x, and the n-butane is going to be the 1.22 minus x. So let's do it. 2.5, maybe I'll start this up here a little bit. 2.5 equals the x divided by 1.22, and maybe I'll put that in blue, 1.22 minus x. Okay, looks like cross multiplication to me, right? The 2.5 is going to be multiplied by the 1.22 minus x, and then the x is just going to be by itself, right? So this would be x equals, I need to multiply the 2.5 times 1.22 minus x. We have to be fair and distribute this. So Kelke's out. x equals... Let's see, 2.5 times 1.22. 2.5 times 1.22. I get 3.05 minus 2.5x. Let's bring the 2.5x on the other side just so that we get the x's on the one side, right? Cross this off. And remember, this is 1x, so 1x plus 2.5x is a total now of 3.5x equals 3.05. And now, to solve for x, it was 3.5x, so I'm just going to divide by 3.5 on both sides. That gets rid of that, and now we have x. x equals that divided by 3.5. A lot of decimals, but they give me... Two sig figs for the Kp, that's the lowest number of sig figs, so if we care about sig figs, I'll give it in two sig figs, but who cares, right? 0.87, and we were talking about pressure. The only pressure unit that's allowed in the Kp expression is ATM, and they gave me the total pressure of ATM, so that kind of gives you another way around that. And the X was isobutane. What is the pressure of isobutane? We labeled that as X, so this is the answer. So the pressure of isobutane is 0.87 atm. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep working hard, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.